Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash and Supergirl and like the Arrowverse as a whole. But I'm more so going to be whistling it down to those two. Just, you know, my thoughts on what could potentially be future upcoming crossovers. So this is completely all theory, nothing is fact, nothing has been said. So it's just me theorizing about some big events that may happen in the future, whether it's the four-way crossover, obviously barring Arrow, maybe they include some of the new shows with the Superman show coming, maybe that's involved instead, or just to do with Supergirl and The Flash, because, you know, we haven't had one of those since the musical crossover, so I'm sort of gunning more for that, because I know we're going to have a crossover as per usual every year. Okay, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so my first theory, and this is completely out there, this is probably one of the wildest theories, but recently and over the last few years we've had many teasers for Green Lantern, for especially Hal Jordan. We had that scene, if you remember, there was just that really quick flash where you saw a fighter pilot's coat and he had Jordan on his coat. Also, it was mentioned on The Flash in the phone dial on Earth 2 with Earth 2 Barry Allen, so that was another reference. Also, we got the reference in Elseworlds to do with the potential of John Diggle being a Green Lantern. That has been a massive theory in, you know, our fandom because, you know, that's been teased so much. You know, John Diggle was an original character that, to Arrow and, you know, his name is John, and there is John Stewart, who is a Green Lantern. So that was always a theory, and you know it's pretty much like nearly confirmed that he's going to be at least making an appearance, you know, whether it's a cameo or not, in the new crossover Crisis on Infinite Earths. Like it's we're fairly certain by now that you know he's going to pop up. But anyway, so that is what we've seen and sort of been referenced to so far. So with that, and with potentially Crisis involving even more of that, I think it would be a really great idea if they do introduce the idea of that, if they did say a sort of crossover to do with the Lanterns, maybe you introduce some of the other corps, sort of, uh, you know, the different versions, so like the Red Lanterns and, you know, the Sinestro corps and stuff like that. So obviously the problem with that is they are doing the Green Lantern show right now, you know, prior to that they were doing a film, I think they potentially are still working on a film, but they recently announced a Green Lantern show on HBO Max, so if that is potentially involved in the Arrowverse, which more likely than not, it's probably not, that would be a great way to cross over, maybe we just cross over Green Lantern, you know, the actual TV show when it comes out, with the Arrowverse stuff. Maybe that's a way to do that, but I think it's an interesting idea, so have a think about that. Okay, so let's move on. So we got another idea. I've mentioned this before, but I thought I would go back over it because I think it's been like a year maybe since I mentioned it. Like prior to us knowing about Elseworlds, I think we were theorizing about this. Okay, so the Crime Syndicate. So the Crime Syndicate are a supervillain team essentially in the comics, sort of the opposite of the Justice League. And... They are otherworldly counterparts to the Justice League, essentially being complete opposites in that they are from Earth 3 and they very much so resemble their counterparts. Like there's Owlman, who is obviously the counterpart to Batman. There's all these different characters you'll see on the screen right now and they look very similar, but they're not. There's like Johnny Quick as the Flash. There is Deadeye, the version of Green Arrow, there's Ultra Girl instead of Super Girl, White Siren instead of White Canary, and so on. So, it's essentially alternate versions. I think this is less likely due to the fact that, obviously, in Crisis on Earth X, we had the Earth X kind of version of this, in that we saw alternate versions of our characters who were evil. So, I think it's less likely. But I think the idea of doing the Crime Syndicate is very, very interesting because they are really good comic book villains and they make for a great team and they make for a great battle. So I think it would be a interesting idea if they were to introduce that. Okay, so this is more to do with Supergirl and The Flash because, yeah, Warworld is what we're talking about. That could be a massive crossover thing, but it's really 
a lot to do with Supergirl because War Worlds been mentioned on Supergirl before, and I feel like it would be a great crossover for the Flash. That's just me personally thinking. And so War Worlds been mentioned by Monel in season two. I think they mentioned it a couple of other times. We've never had a reference to Mongol by name, who is the person who controls the ship that is War Worlds. And so War Worlds is essentially a fighting ring like an intergalactic fighting ring and it's also a planet which has been taken control by Mongol who is the villain on this apocalyptic planet and considering it's been referenced before I think you know it's definitely in the back of people's minds in terms of you know potential future crossovers I think we will eventually get to this to be honest but I think it would make for a really good Supergirl and Flash crossover like they team up they go to War World they fight Mongol and they have to fight each other in the arena, like Supergirl and the Flash, I think that would be a really great concept to go ahead with. And so Mongol is usually associated with Superman, but you know, we can associate it with Supergirl, there's no problem about that. And considering that, you know, it has links to the Black Mercy, we've had the Black Mercy on Supergirl, and also we've had the references to War World already, I think it is just, you know, primed and ready for a crossover. Okay, so this is really interesting. This specifically links to Supergirl and the idea of time travel because this is Brainiac and I'm talking about the evil version of Brainiac. Yes, he was on Krypton, but Krypton's not on right now. So, you know, the character's kind of freed up. So this will be extremely ambitious, I would say, because, you know, factoring in time travel and everything, you know, you got Brainiac 5 on the TV show. I'm guessing if this crossover ever came, this would be like the ending of Brainiac 5 essentially so I don't think he would continue on from this but what I'm getting at is why is linked to Supergirl because that was the reason that the Legion of Superheroes went to the future I'm talking about Imra, mon and you know the new member of the Legion Wynn who is actually returning super excited about that he's coming back in episode 11 to episode 13 but that is the reason why Brainiac 5 stayed back in the past and, you know, he hasn't really been aspiring to go back to the future because of this threat of his, you know, his family member, essentially. But that's the reason why mon and Wynn and Imra went back to the future. And with Wynn coming back, obviously there's going to be some references if the writers have actually remembered what they set up at the end of Season 3. Which, I don't know if they're going to remember that. But that was the reason why they went back to the future. So with Wynn coming back, there's going to hopefully be reference to that. And so with that reference, that sets up the idea of him coming maybe to the past to destroy the world before, say, the Legion of Superheroes exist. This would be a way to bring back the Legion of Superheroes who I thought were great. And I would love to see them back, you know, all the new members, all the different members, but also obviously mon and Imra who I really, really love. So I think that would be an interesting idea. I think that would definitely work as a Supergirl and Flash crossover, but also I think it would work as a, you know, major crossover because it would set up the idea of, you know, maybe bring the Legion back and that would be very exciting. Okay, so let's move on to the last theory. This is the Injustice League. So again, kind of similar to the Crime Syndicate and what we got on Crisis on Earth X but different because this links to Lex Luthor and we know that Lex Luthor is coming back, he's still alive, he's going to be in crisis, so after that we presume Lex is still going to be around, right? You know, even if he's not on any of these shows. So what happens if he returns for the next crossover and the next crossover is the Injustice League, which is in the comics a team formed by Lex Luthor himself to defeat the Justice League. So maybe next crossover we get the team officially called the Justice League, I think that we would really like that, that would be really great because, you know, we sort of have presumed by now they are the Justice League, you know, the Flash, Supergirl, Arrow, and everyone else, all the superheroes, you know, they're their own Justice League even though they haven't named it yet or they don't have like a headquarters like, you know, a watchtower or anything. So it seems likely that Lex would potentially come back, so I think that definitely links into it. Also, there is some links to Maxwell Lord. What happens if Maxwell Lord comes back? There's links to Psycho Pirate, who was once a member. 
of the Injustice League. Additionally, there's other characters like Dr. Light, who we've seen, Solomon Grundy, who we got a brief glimpse of in Arrow, and The Shade, who was on The Flash in Season 3. Seeing Lex team up with a range of villains against our heroes would be a great idea I think. So that's about it for this video guys, if you have any other theories let me know in the comments down below, I'm very interested to hear. These were just some ideas that I have in the back of my head and I think they would work very well as either you know the 4 way or 5 way crossover, how many shows it's actually going to be next year I don't know, but also Supergirl and The Flash because that is what I'm really rooting for especially with some of these. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos later this year, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.